hi guys how you doing i hope you guys are doing good because this girl is doing amazing as you guys can see so in today's video we're going to be talking about red flags red flags especially in relationships man and woman talk okay i like man and woman talk i don't i don't shy away from man and woman talk <laughs> yes men 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 many men 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 i love it i did a video about how to know if you are you know with the right partner how to choose the right partner but yeah after i posted that video i asked you guys on instagram by the way if you're not following me on instagram you already know that you are wrong you are wrong and you are wrong why why are you doing me like this anyway so the first response i got is hot temper and i totally agree with this and again i want to make something clear right that something is a red flag doesn't mean that it is a deal breaker okay so red flags are either for you to you know caution okay caution the person at the beginning and help the person change or for you to waka for you to go on your way for you to be on your way that is what red flags are there for and also red flags are there for you to look more into the person okay so a red flag is not necessarily something that's going to break your relationship but it's something that you need to actually look more into so if you answer there's more to it that you can't really handle then you can now break it but if you look into it and it's not really as bad as you thought or it's not really that serious like if you analyze it logically okay logically don't be thinking with your hoo-ha because you are doing it don't be thinking with your heart because it's making you feel good logically step out of the situation and analyze it if you see something that is not that bad then you can now go ahead with it. okay so the next one is talking anyhow you guys i don't like men who talk anyhow and people always say things like oh why they talk like woman no he's talking like a like a goat <laughs> okay because sometimes when we say those things we say it and we think we're insulting the men no you're insulting women by saying why they talk anyhow they talk like woman no not every woman talks anyhow. Men that talk anyhow, you have to be careful because a man that talks anyhow, he's going to put you in trouble. He's going to put his family in trouble. Generally, self, I can't even deal with people who talk anyhow. Not to talk of the man I'm in relationship with. I beg, I beg, I beg. Okay, so yeah, that is actually a red flag. And then someone said, no common sense. My dear, I agree with you. People underestimate the power of common sense, okay? You are there looking at six pack. You are there looking at, you know, his nails, his hair, his teeth, his nose, his everything, his eyes. You are there looking at the superficial nonsense. Does he have common sense? Is he sensible? <laughs> in fact, it's just an extra child for you if you end up with someone that doesn't have common sense, okay? So beware okay them i'll relocate you and the kids abroad and i'll be in niger end quotes those type of men okay yes i always say this if you've been watching me for a while i always say this i don't like a broken home i don't like separated families of course there are cases where you can't help it right but permanent separated families like you're living abroad i'm living in nigeria no bah, that's a huge red flag. that's a deal breaker for me self that one is even more than a red flag that one a deal breaker <laughs> not really a deal breaker Sha. if i understand where he's coming from and it kind of makes sense i'll just try and convince him like his his thought process makes sense so not that the idea makes sense okay there's a difference between your thought process com the thought process you had before you got to a result there's a difference between the thought process making sense and the result making sense okay they're two different things so for me the result might not make sense but if i understand his thought process i'll be able to come up with a better solution that will work for both you know him and i and we'll be able to you know get the best outcome out of it okay but for me it's a red flag a lot of men had their families abroad and they're in nigeria just doing as they, as they please living as single men the same thing a lot of women are abroad with their families doing as they please as well why their husband are in nigeria sending money to them so it goes both ways but for me it's not something i really want to do i don't want to ever want to have to do it long term okay another person is saying talking too much because what time are they using <laughs> she says what time are you using to think my sister help me ask them or help me ask them if and that's the truth that's that's fantastic what she said is fantastic when you talk too much trust me you're using up your brain power and your brain space so you don't even have time to think that is why you notice that whenever you talk too much you even say things you're not supposed to say things that are on a normal day you're not, going to, you're not supposed to spill you see yourself spilling it because you're talking too much you are talking too much you are most likely going to spill secrets you're most likely going to offend people you're most likely going to sound stupid when you talk too much an unkind and senseless man hell sister take a now. <laughs> 
Take it easy. Yes, an unkind and senseless man, a traditional man that is big on submission and respect, run and never look back, okay? Yes. Is this a red flag? Yes, it is, okay? When you have an unkind man. Now, someone who is just kind to you, but he's unkind to everybody else. So you are blinded by the fact that he's being kind to you, he's being nice to you. I won't even call him that being kind. He's being nice to you, so you feel like, oh, I can, I can deal, like it's, my own is different. <laughs> Trust me, your turn is coming, okay? That's the same way he's treating everybody else. He is going to end up treating you that way, okay? It is what it is. He can't help himself. The reason why he is pretending now is because he wants something from, from you. Let him get you first, and then you will know how kind he really is, okay, to you. So, an unkind man, a senseless man, going back to what, what the other person said about common sense, when you have a man who is just... It doesn't have sense. I, I don't have to explain it. Like, every, we all know such people, okay? We all know such people that don't have sense run away from such man, okay? And she says, a traditional man big on submission and respect, okay? Yes, this is a red flag, but not necessarily, okay, well, it can't be a red flag to everybody because there are also traditional women who are also big on respecting their husbands and submitting to their husbands. So, to them, it's a win-win solution. It's a win-win situation, okay? She's getting the man of her dreams. She's getting the woman of his dreams, right? So, to her, it's not necessarily a universal red flag. I understand what you mean, Sha, because some people misconstrue what submission and respect is some people think you should fear them they see you fearing them as being respectful and they see you being docile and being a doormat who they can walk all over they see it as, be as being submissive okay so i understand that's a red flag it's a red flag for me and it's a red flag for most modern women if i if i might say so but at the same time it's not a red it's not a universal red flag some people actually believe in those things so it's okay for them in fact they'll be looking at you weird when you talk to your husband like a normal human being they're like oh you don't have respect hey see how she's talking to her husband see what she's doing in her husband's presence see what her husband's allowing her to do see what her husband's allowing her to wear yes your fellow women are the ones that are also going to castigate you for not respecting or submitting to your husband so um i don't know i just said all this long thing i just said okay now the next person says mommy's boys my mommy this my mommy that my mommy this my mommy that story time i once dated a mommy's boy and trust me it is not fun it is not fun in marriage you want to have your own person okay and you want your husband to be his own person you don't want him to be an extension of his father and mother because his father and mother you're not married to his father and mother you're married to him okay forget that thing i say about family family i beg you you are married to him, okay? So, he should be his own person. I'm not saying he should neglect his father and mother, but he should be... Yes? Please, I'm talking with my, my girls, okay? I'm talking with my girls. Red flag, men that interrupt you while you're filming. Okay, we're talking about red relationship. Baby, come and tell me one of your relationship red flags. Come and tell me. Women that talk too much. What else? If you guys did not hear him, he said women that talk too much. Yeah, that's a red flag. Okay, so... The next one, wait, was that a red flag or is that shade? Is it shading me? Hmm. Lack of discipline and control of emotions. Baby girl that gave this response, I love you so much. Like, you're my person. I know who this is anyway, but you're my person. Like, I am big on finding a partner who has discipline and emotional control, okay? Control of his emotions, okay? It's one of the things that endeared me to my husband. You don't want a man who doesn't have discipline. Like, I can't even explain how stressful of a life that is going to be for both of you. If you have a man who does not have discipline, okay? Discipline with finances, it's okay to not be disciplined in some areas of your life, okay? Everybody has one area or the other where they are kind of lacking. But when you meet somebody who severely lacks discipline it is a lot of work it is a lot of stress it is a lifelong like for you to be with such a person you have to have like discipline like your own discipline has to you have to have discipline for the both of you okay that's just it you have to have discipline for the both of you if you're going to end up with a partner who does not have discipline and i'm saying partner because it can be male or female and then control of emotions i don't like men who cannot control their emotions like any smart thing, outburst. Just not having control of emotions is not good, okay? I, 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 I don't like it. I can't, I can't deal, man. So the next one is men that comment on this lover's blog. Yeah! <laughs> to be honest, there is a major red flag. That's what she said. To be honest, there, I totally get where you're coming from. 
I don't know what it is. Maybe because I'm on social media, okay? I don't like men who are too much on social media, especially when it is not a job for them. They're not making money from it. They're not showcasing their business. They are not into social media like the business aspect of social media. They are not creative directors or, you know, they are just on social media just to while away time, okay? And not only are they there, they are engaging actively in social media, okay? Especially when you're commenting on blogs that are just icky, okay? You guys know those kind of blogs. They are icky. Anything, any nonsense gist, you want to go there. I mean, they carry nonsense gist up and down. Then you are there commenting on the nonsense gist. Mba. The smell of his mess and shape of head. Girl, you're just bugging. Any sign of narcissistic behavior. Yes, okay, a lot of people are dating or are married or are in relationships with narcissists, okay? And let me put this out there. Not everybody who is kind of self-absorbed or anybody who has pride is a narcissist. I feel like it's one of those terms, almost like OCD and uh, PTSD. Narcissism or narcissist is one of those terms that we are now throwing around too much. We are now, it's now too much, sister. Not everybody is a narcissist because he has self-worth or he has sense of self-worth, okay? Because he is not falling to every, your, your, your whims and caprices. <laughs> Because the guy is not falling for all your, your, your shenanigans. You now say he's a narcissist. No, not everybody's a narcissist, okay? But yeah, there are a lot of people who are actually narcissists. And it's very draining to be in a relationship with such a person because you're never going to be right. You're always going to be wrong. You're always going to be the issue. He's always going to make you feel like you have issues. He's always going to gaslight you. He's always going to make everything about him he's not going to care about you about your emotions about your feelings the only time he's going to care about it is when it benefits him okay if it doesn't benefit if it doesn't benefit him he's not going to care he's not going to regard you run away from such a man it's it's not worth it sis it's not it better for you to be single eh date yourself it better for you to date yourself than to date someone that is into himself dating himself but you're just there as you know addendum <laughs> They call it you're just an appendage. I mean, what they call it, you are, you're just you are just an extra in his life. Run away from such men, okay? Now, the next one is anger issues. Yeah, I yeah, I can't even I don't even I don't need to explain this one. Someone who must always retaliate when offended, mistake or not. Ah, 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 sister, this one is strong. I can't, I just can't. My can't cannot, like, I cannot deal with somebody who does this. I hate it with a passion, okay? Whether in a, in a relationship or whether in a friendship or whether in a family situation or whether in anybody that is related to me anyway, blood or physical, any way. I can't deal with people who always want to pay back. It is, it's such a sad way of life. Like, I, I can't explain it. It's really, really sad. Like... There are people who, if you mistakenly match them, they must match you back. If you mistakenly hurt them, they must hurt you back. If you mistakenly break their team, they must break your team back. If you mistakenly say something to them, just, you know, jokingly, they must say their own back. Like, they can't let anything slide. Everything is, is fight. Everything is tit or tat. Tit for tat. I mean, what do they call it? An eye for an eye. Nah, man. I hate you with a passion. Yeah, that's a total... In fact, that's almost like a deal breaker for me. Not even almost a deal breaker for me, please. Next one is his personal hygiene needs. Yes, this is a red flag as well. However, you can actually help a man through it, okay? Even some women have hygiene problems. Some women, is their husbands that taught them how to wash their panties. Like, it is what it is, okay? So, if you are someone who can teach and if he has a teachable spirit, then you can teach him and he will change, okay? A lot of people were not taught, a lot of people were not raised right, so they don't really have these things, you know, in check or they don't really have these things in control. So the right woman, maybe not the woman, so it's, it's a red flag for you, but for some women that is not really a red flag for them, they will be able to teach their men or teach their wives and those people can change. He might not change totally. He will not become a hundred percent, you know, organized or clean and, and stuff like that. But with time, he will get to a very acceptable, you know, number, percentage, whatever. If he supports violence of any kind, I totally agree with you. One that just any small thing make you beat him, any small thing you break your head, any small thing you go fight him. I, I can't, I can't deal. Nah, 
The next one is lack of respect for others, especially family members. For me, lack of respect period is a very big um, deal, uh, red flag, okay? Because trust me, like I said about the other one, your turn is coming. He's, yeah, he's, your turn is coming. Don't worry. Don't think you're special. It's not, it's not about you. It's who he is. Like, he can't even help himself. So, it is who he, he is. Your turn is definitely coming. After the fear of God, his level of accountability, does he feel accountable to anyone? Okay, yeah, so this is a red flag for her um, and for a lot of us, someone like me too. I, can't, I couldn't have married somebody who did not have the fear of God, okay? It's even more, more than just being religious. Some people are religious, but they don't have the fear of God. Some people have the fear of God, but they're not, they're not you know, exactly religious. So for me, fear of God is very key. And I mean, by fear of God, I mean reverence for God. It's not about, oh, fearing God, like reverence, like respect. If you meet a man who respects God, who reverences God, who, who worships God as his father, not as God Almighty that can kill and can, can destroy. No, as, you know, God, his father, if you meet such a man, eh, beautiful, beautiful, like he's just going to treat you like a queen, okay? Because I mean, he, he learns from the best, so he's learning from the best, right? He's going to treat you with so much love and respect. Go for such men, okay? Lavish spender. Yeah, some people, as he's spending on you, you're happy. He's not really, he, he'll carry all his salary and buy you Jimmy Choo. <laughs> he'll carry all his salary and buy you Yves Saint Laurent. Buy you, eh, eh, what they call that other one, that's actually B. Eh, eh, hey, Balenciaga guy, hey, I saw one bag yesterday that was so cute. And I went to go and I used them, what they call it, Google Lens to go and search for the bag. I saw it was Balenciaga, I saw the price, I closed it back. <laughs> I was just like, whoa, you guys, you people have money out here. When are they see all this money now? Like, the person who carried the bag so casually, I was like, oh, this bag is very pretty, let me look for it. I didn't want to ask her where she got it from because she wasn't even responding to the comments. So I said, let me just go and, you know, Google Lens it. And next thing I saw was, hey, I was like, I closed and back, sharp, sharp. A lavish spender is a red flag, okay? Except it's a guy, again, who is teachable, a guy who can allow you, especially if you yourself, if you yourself, you are not a lavish spender, a guy who can allow you to take charge, then it's not really a problem. It's just, like I said, it's a red flag that you need to look more into. It doesn't have to be a deal breaker because a lot of lavish spenders actually learn to change. A lot of lavish spenders, when family comes into play, when they start having kids, they now be like, whoa, they need to change. They, they, nobody go tell them, but they go tell them they will change. Okay. Temper, disrespect to service providers, yeah, deal breaker. No manners, example, finds it difficult to say, please, sorry, thank you, yeah. Lack of financial literacy and no regard for God and his word. I totally agree with you, sis. The next one is how the person communicates. If communication is not important to the person, that is a red flag. Um, I'm not really sure what you mean here. How the person communicates. I'm not really sure what you mean here. Now, the next one is abuse. Verbal, emotional, physical. Sister, this is not even red flag. This is a deal breaker. Well, for me, oh, ah, like, I don't understand. How is it? <laughs> no, it's a, deal, <laughs> it's a deal breaker for me. Oh. You beat me, it's a deal breaker. Like, it's not, it's not something that, oh, when he beats me small, I need to now look into it and see whether it is a serious. No. It's a, it's a deal breaker, sis. Somebody who is physically abusive, someone who is verbally abusive, someone who is emotionally abusive, it is a deal breaker in my opinion. Talkative, no goals, yep. Jealousy, ah. I don't know how men will be jealous of their wives. I don't, like, I keep hearing about it, but I don't get it. Or how anybody will be jealous of their partner. I don't get it. Yeah, someone says, if we don't share the same faith, it's a deal breaker for me. Yes, I totally agree. I don't see how people of different faiths tend to, you know, marry and have a relationship, okay? Um, maybe each person is not strong enough in their faith or one person is not strong enough in their faith. So they're basically just sucking to the other person's own. I don't see how two people who are really, really strong in their faith can actually marry and have a good relationship i don't i don't see how it is like um lying ah lying is a big red flag go oh. and i hate people that lie for no reason like you're not you're not about to die there's no gun to your head that you should that you know that you should give an answer but you just lie unprovoked ah that's that's a lot arrogance and being stingy yep somebody who always shuts down your opinions yes this is such a good response good answer good answer a man who always shuts down your opinions 
run away from such man. He's, he's no good, okay? He's no good. You are going to be miserable in that relationship. You're not going to have a say. Nah. Then another red flag, someone who lies about his identity. There are a lot of men who lie about their identity. I can't even... A lot of men lie. Like, you are, you are claiming a whole job that you don't even have. You are claiming a whole family that's not even yours. You are claiming a whole, you know, origin story. <laughs> that isn't even true. Aggression, no. Aggression. Yes, my sister. Aggression is a big red flag. Someone said insults. Yes, verbal abuse. Is a no, no. Attitude during arguments. Thank you. That is a huge red flag for me as well. Like I said about, you know, how to, com that how to communicate part. Attitude during arguments, like when we are arguing and you are passive aggressive or you are throwing tantrums or you are now insulting my family joint, like from where to where, it's not, it's not even going to work. Like it's not going to work. Some people don't know how to just argue. Some people must attach their emotions and their being and their soul to the arguments. Like detach yourself and argue points. Okay, don't make it personal. The next one is rude. Yes, a guy who is rude is a no-no. Like I said, your turn is coming. If you think your own is different. Possessiveness. Yes, a lot of people are very possessive. Um, it's a very huge red flag. There are, there are men who cannot allow their women be. Like, they can't allow you be your own person. Sometimes some people find you cute, okay? Some women find you cute that their husbands are, or their boyfriends are being possessive. Trust me, sis, it's not cute when you're married. <laughs> now you go here, Ram, okay? It is not cute when a person is being possessive. It is okay for him to love you and care for you, but him being possessive, him not allowing you to be your own person, always wants to know where you are, what you are doing, who you are talking to. He wants to control who your friends are. He wants to control how you talk to your family. He wants to control how you go out, what you wear, the kind of job you have, how you spend your money, you know, how you interact with other people. Uh -uh. Mm -ba 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 -ba. Mm -ba. That is a huge no-no. Not having the fear of God again. We've said that. Indecision is a big turn off. Yes, a lot of men who they can't, they, 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 they don't, they can't, they're not decisive, okay? They're not, they're not their own person. It's almost like what I talked about being a mama's boy. They're not your own person. This, one, this person will bring opinion, they will take it. That person will bring opinion, they will take it. This person will bring suggestion. They, like, they just everywhere, they're just like this. Like that floating, that, <laughs> you guys know that floating thing that's always doing like this. That's how some people are. They're just like this. The wind will come this way, they will blow. The wind will go that way, they will blow. Mm, bam, 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 bam. That is just a huge red flag. Terrible communication skills, especially when they're not willing to learn or get better. Yes, I think that that teachable spirit is actually a very good thing. So when somebody has a teachable, a teachable spirit, you can actually almost overcome, you, might, you can actually overcome almost anything when somebody has a teachable spirit. But if he doesn't have a teachable spirit, ha, run my sister, run. Dust your slippers and run, run as fast as you can. Someone that has anger issues and is worse still, boastful of it oh my goodness thank you sis it's what we said again about not having a teachable spirit or not being willing to change i hate when people say things like ah you know i have anger issues you know i get angry easily you know you know you know that when i'm angry ah when i'm angry i do and undo and you are, you're not ashamed of yourself you are saying this proudly you're not ashamed of yourself <laughs> i'm doing like that girl do you guys know that girl that says that does poetry <laughs> Is it Feikemi or something like that? There's a girl that does poetry that talks... <laughs> anyway, you're not ashamed of yourself. You are there, proudly saying, ah, you know I have anger issues. Ah, when I'm angry, you don't want to see me angry here. You don't want to see me angry here and you're proud of it. My dear, go and sit down. You're just a child. You're just immature. Immaturity is your problem. It's not anger issues. You're just an immature person because when you, the sign of maturity is being able to control your emotions and your anger, okay? You're not a child. It's children that, th that throw tantrums whenever they're upset. It's children that cannot control their anger because they're children. Once you are a grown adult, please move. Selfishness, smoker, and drunkard. I totally agree with you. I don't know how people deal with men who get drunk. I, ah, I cringe when I think about it. Imagine having a drunk husband. He will stagger into the house by 2 a.m. He's drunk. He's falling asleep on the couch. He's naked on the floor. Your children are waking up to see their father passed out on the couch, you know, in the very, ah, I can't, I can't, I can't, okay? Even people that smoke, I don't, I can't deal with men that smoke, nah. Like, seriously. And then selfishness as well. 
I can't deal, but you see that drunkard part. I don't know. It's 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 it, 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 it makes my skin crawl when I think about it. Yeah, I have covered all your responses. Thank you so much, you guys, for responding. Like I said, if you're not following me on Instagram, go and follow me on Instagram, please, so you can be responding anytime I put up stuff like this, okay? But yeah, you guys, my own red flags, okay. I think I have touched on some of them, but another red flag for me, nobody has said it is being too friendly. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yes. He's a nice person. He's so friendly. Eh, eh. I, I don't like men that are too friendly. It's a red flag for me. Every time you are friendly, you are everywhere, you are everybody's friend, you are smiling with everybody, you are laughing with everybody, every girl has access to you, you have besties up and down, left, right and center, you are having besties, female best, besties, okay? Um, even, even men besties, but every time you are with your friends, you are always hanging out, you have friends up and down, friend, 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 everywhere, everywhere, you are popular, they know you everywhere, <laughs> you are out with friends every night, every weekend you are out with friends, every time you are going for friends function, every time you are going you, you, your, your ass cannot stay at home. You're always out. You're always out. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's a red flag for me. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a red flag. I, I feel like I'm acting drunk. I'm not drunk with you guys. I'm actually hungry. <laughs> I'm really hungry. But yes, my sister, it's a red flag for me when a guy is overly friendly, especially with the opposite sex. Okay? Yeah, I can't deal. Why? Why do you have to have a female best bestie? Why do you have to have female friends up and down? Why do all the women have to have access to you? Huh? Which of them are you cheating on me with? And you're just covering up with friendship. Which of them are you cheating on me with? And you're covering it up with friendship. <laughs> anyway, guys, let me know what you guys think about this topic in the comment section. Do you agree that all these things are red flags? If there are some that you feel are not red flags, let me know them in the comment section. If there are some that you feel are actually red flags and we do not talk about, let me also know them in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching. And I'll see you all in my next video. Video. Bye. Mwah.